Here's everything you need to know about the FA's 150 year history in 150 seconds, starting now. The Football Association was formed in 1863 at the Freemasons Tavern in London. In 1871, the FA Cup was born and goalkeepers were allowed to use their hands. A year later, Sir Wanderers beat the Royal Engineers in the first cup final played at Kennington Oval. England and Scotland drew 0-0 in the first international and the corner kick was introduced. 1874 saw shin pads and umpires and the following year, the tape across the goal was replaced with a crossbar. In 1882, England beat Ireland 13-0 and in 86, England players started getting caps. Arthur Wharton became the first ever black player in 1889. The penalty kick was created and goal nets were first used in a match in 1890. In 1899, England travelled to Germany for the first overseas international and the FA announced it was to become a non-profit organisation. The FA entered a football team into the London Olympics in 1908 and became football's first gold medalist. The transfer deadline was introduced in 1911 and 10 years later the FA said football was unsuitable for women. In 1923, Bolton Wanderers beat West Ham 2-0 in the first ever match at Wembley and Wembley saw its first ever international match the next year. In 1930, England decided not to travel to the first World Cup in Uruguay. Two years later, the FA launched its first coaching and training courses with instructional classes for boys. 38 saw the first fully televised FA Cup final and numbers were added to players' shirts in 1939. All competitions were suspended for World War II and the FA donated sports equipment to the prisoners of war in 1943. Walter Winterbottom became England's first manager in 46. 1953 was the year of the Stanley Matthews final and a year later football was played on the floodlights for the first time. Billy Wright reached 100 caps in 1959 and the maximum wage was abolished in 61. 1966. England won the World Cup on home soil thanks to Sir Jeff Hurst's hat trick. In 1970, Gordon Banks made this save from Pele and we saw the first women's FA Cup final in 71. There was a giant coon in the FA Cup when Ronnie Radford scored this belter for Hereford against Newcastle. Trevor Francis went for a cool million pounds in 79 and two years later the FA Cup reached 100 and there was now three points for a win. 86 saw the hand of God from Maradona and in 89 tragedy at Hillsborough led to all seated stadiums. Gaza became a national treasure during Italia 90 despite losing to West Germany on penalties. The Premier League was formed in 92 and a year later the FA took over the running of the women's game. Football fever gripped the nation but England lost to Germany on penalties again during Euro 96. 98, Hope Powell became England women's national coach and Michael Owen scored this goal at the World Cup. Sven became England's first foreign manager in 2001. Beckham did this against Greece and England did this against Germany. His Royal Highness Prince William became the FA president in 2006 and a year later, Wembley Stadium opened. England were robbed in the 2010 World Cup and the FA launched the Women's Super League the next year. In 2012, Team GB football teams competed in the London Olympics and the new National Football Centre St George's Park opened its door to the future of English football. Here's to another 150 years. I'm your host, The Ox, aka Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Hopefully I'll be around for a few more. <laughs>